OK, Alexis is out and about tonight at Chawton House in Hampshire with a bit of Shakespeare on the side, Alexis. Setting near Alton. This is Chawton House, an Elizabethan manor house, and it is referred to in Jane Austen's letters. Jane Austen's house is just down the way. Chawton House, though, is open seven days a week to the public and it houses a big library collection of early women's writing. Now, the crowds have gathered here, 200 people to watch a unique and energetic <coughs> performance of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. I've been told it's funny, fast-paced, bonkers and charmingly chaotic. Foolery, sir, does walk about the orb like the sun. It shines everywhere. That's a line from Act 3, Scene 1 of William Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, which has been performed here by the Handlebards at Chawton House in the Alton. Now, if you're wondering who they are, look no further. They're a group of Shakespearean actors who cycle from venue to venue. And joining me now is Bronte Tadman. Bronte, this is a very unique performance of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. How did it come about? Well, about 10 years ago, a group of friends and young actors figured out that cycling to each venue would be a really sustainable way to create a theatre company and a good way to get to places. Absolutely. Well, what can people expect from the performance? Uh, fast pace, comedy, Quick costume changes, lots of different accents and uh, a fair bit of heart as well. Oh, looking forward to it. Well, the weather's looking good for you here this evening. Thank you for joining us. Let's talk to Cleo O'Sullivan, who's from Chawton House. Now, Cleo, anyone coming to watch the play this evening will be able to check out the grounds of Chawton House as well. Yes, that's right. And the roses are fully in bloom and looking glorious in the walled garden. And the honeysuckle, it smells amazing currently. Are you expecting big turnout? We've actually sold out already. But never fear, if you're a fan of outdoor theatre, we've got several more coming up. So just look on our website and see our what's on page. Well, the crowds are certainly gathering with their picnics here this evening. Thank you for joining us, Cleo. Um, curtain is up at 7pm this evening. Alexis, it looks like a perfect evening for some outdoor theatre. It certainly is. The sun is really warm still at this time of year, Alan, but we do have some very lovely weather pictures you sent in to us via email. This picture was taken by John and Jean of Medmury Nature Reserve of the Strawberry Moon last night in West Sussex. And this sunny scene was captured by Martin Perry at Colwell Bay on the Isle of Wight. Thanks, Martin. Here's Alexis with your regional weather forecast. It's been warm for the time of year today, but temperatures are set to rise as we head towards Friday. More about that in just a second. Let's take a look at the forecast over the next few days because we are expecting settled conditions with lots of sunshine until the end of Friday. Then it turns unsettled as we head into the weekend with heavy thundery rain moving in. So from the satellite picture, we can see the cloud that built up today will melt away overnight tonight. The skies will clear in many places and we are looking at a dry night for most. With clear skies, temperatures will fall away between 9 and 13 degrees, 13 Celsius for the Isle of Wight. And we could also see one or two mist patches dotted about first thing tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning we wake up with a lot of sunshine through the course of the day. With that warm sunshine, it will be certainly a few degrees warmer than today. We'll have cloud building up in places. It should be mainly dry, but there is the outside chance of an isolated shower for northern and western parts of the region. With temperatures tomorrow peaking at between uh, 25 to 27 Celsius, but cooler for coastal stretches. Now, tomorrow night, once again, very like tonight, we'll have clear skies. We could see some mist patches dotted about here and there in the usual prone spots. But generally, it's a dry and a clear night with a low ranging between 12 and 15 degrees. Already, temperatures are starting to rise each night and it turns warmer still Friday night. Friday itself, that's the hottest day of the week, hot and humid during the course of the day. Um, there'll be plenty of sunshine, really high UV levels and also high pollen levels or very high pollen levels with a high of 31, potentially 32 degrees coming. Friday with the fairly light winds. So here's the outlook for the rest of the week. We're expecting a lot of sunshine up until Friday, then maybe some sunshine to start Saturday, but during Saturday daytime, we'll see the heavy thundery rain move southwards across the region. Some torrential downpours can be expected, lasting through the course of Saturday night into Sunday morning and through Sunday itself. So it's really unsettled conditions at times um, over the weekend, but it turns more settled next week. That's your weather for now. Enjoy the sunshine. Alexis, thank you. And that is about it for this evening. Thanks for your company. Tomorrow, we'll be heading to school with some young Ukrainian refugees. Meanwhile, don't forget our late news update this evening at the usual time, 10.25. Do join us then if you can. Good night.